daisies blooming Sundress swaying in the breeze I can't stop staring You've put a spell on me And I hope that you never decide to set me free The way you're moving Got me moving my own feet The greatest feeling That I could ever dare to dream Is you forever moving next to me Let's not waste time or take this long We've got miles behind us but miles to go So let's just break this down Simple is true You and I as one Will always be better than two Leaves ain't waiting Their colors changing like the times And I'm taking Darling, would you be mine? And I hope you know I will love you for the rest of my life Let's not waste time or take this slow You got miles behind us but miles to go So let's just break this down to the simplest truth You and I as one will always be better than two Take this slow, we've got miles behind us, but miles to go, so let's just break this down to the simplest truth. You and I as one will always be better than two. Yeah, you and I as one will always be better than two.
to Ailey. First up, thank you for agreeing to marry me. You are just the best person. I'm so lucky to have met you. Not only are you as, as obsessed with food and cake as I am, you're also an incredibly loving, caring and truly wonderful person. When we first met, uh, I didn't drink tea. So when I started going out with Ailey, you know, I knew that she drank tea and had a real love of it. Um, so I made sure to buy some. So she always had tea in the flat whenever she came round. I didn't realise that there were different types of tea. I thought it was all the same thing. So I was in Tesco and just picked up the first tea I saw, picked up a green tea. And I knew Ailey liked tea with milk. So you can sort of imagine, you can imagine what I was giving her. Um, <laughs> And so, as you can imagine, I'm giving her this sort of monstrosity uh, every day uh, over a period of months without Ailey saying a single thing. Um, and when I realised, <laughs> yeah. and when I realised my terrible mistake, uh, she didn't give me that much of a hard time. I don't want to say it was none at all, but it was far kinder than she could have been. And you know what? It was actually here that I realised, you know, how amazing, patient and understanding a person I had fallen in love with. And there was no one else I would rather make a cup of tea for every day for the rest of my life. So. On that note, I want you to join me in raising one last toast today. A glass to love, to happiness and to cups of tea. Thank you.